Greetings, Guardians. The Hijabi Gamer here. And this, in front of my main monitor, is my PlayStation 5. I have the disc version. I'm still kind of working on the setup, trying to figure out where I'm going to put the microphone. I like having the uh, PlayStation 5 next to at least one console next to the computer um, for streaming instead of on the shelf back there needing six foot, no, eight foot HDMI cables. Um, in addition, I have two PlayStation 5 games. I have Demon Souls and Godfall. Um, though I'm thinking of exchanging Godfall for Immortals Phoenix Rising because I hear that is a much better game. Also, I have the games I picked up on Black Friday. I picked up um, Gears 5, which I know is on Game Pass Ultimate for free, but physical copy for five bucks. Can't beat that. I also have Star Wars Squadrons, mostly for the VR. Um, Iron Man VR, again, for the VR. And Concrete Genie, also for the VR. It's kind of in a bit of a VR fix at the time. Um, in addition, I picked up three months of Game Pass Ultimate at half price and one year of PlayStation Online at half price. In addition, you can probably see my uh, um, my consoles are over there. So in addition to the PlayStation 5, I have, you can see hanging from the shelf, that's the case for the PlayStation VR. Next to it is an Xbox One X. Um, below that, I have two Xbox 360s. So one of them I was planning on taking with me to Egypt, but unfortunately, um, for obvious reasons, I didn't get to go to Egypt this year. Um, I wanted something more than just the Nintendo Switch um, and the tiny screen. Um, the second one I picked up before the Master Chief Collection came out on Xbox, three, uh, on Xbox One. And I wanted to play Halo. And my brother had taken back his Xbox 360. So I actually had a PlayStation 4 at the time, but was playing more Xbox 360 because of Halo. Between them is a PlayStation 3 that sadly doesn't get as much use, mostly because of the PlayStation 4 and now PlayStation 5. There's a Switch dock around there somewhere. Um, below the PlayStation 3 is a PlayStation 4 Pro. And below the PlayStation 4 Pro is an Xbox Series X. And uh, yes, I managed to pre-order both. I got very, very lucky. No scalpers, no bots, none of that. I managed to pre-order both. And I did use my stimulus check to get both of them. But I did also work an essential job in April, May, and June just to be sure that I would be able to get them both because I knew I planned on getting both of them, but we didn't know the prices and I figured they'd be expensive. And I like the disc versions. So those are all my consoles. So you're probably wondering, why am I showing all this off? Um, recently, it has come to my attention that there are some women on YouTube going on about how if, you want to play, if a man wants a PlayStation 5, he's weird. Or if you're going to spend 48 hours outside of a GameStop just for a PlayStation 5, which you go. I'm impressed. I wish I could have done that. I, even if I wasn't able to get the pre-order, I probably then would have waited. But you got hats off to you. Good work, you guys. <laughs> um, I think the opposite. I think any woman who doesn't want a PlayStation 5 is just as weird, uh, if not weirder. I mean, most of these women probably want stuff like jewelry, you know, shiny rocks that cost the same and more than a PlayStation 5 instead of a PlayStation 5. So your shiny rock that you wear on your hand or around your neck or hanging from your ears is less weird than um, my video game console, which will get hundreds of hours of use um, and enjoyment out of. Like uh, I did a video recently listing off my playtimes on PlayStation 4. And my PlayStation 4 got hundreds of hours of use. So has my Switch and my Xbox One X. So those are weirder than um, shiny baubles to hang from your neck or wear on your finger. I mean, if you're staring at it for hundreds of hours, then that's even weirder and um, 
no comment. Just no comment. Um, I don't understand the women who want 50 pairs of shoes or, you know, $500 gowns over video game consoles. Um, maybe one of these days I should show off all my handhelds because I've got some really unusual stuff. I have the NVIDIA Shield Portable, which I love. It, it's awesome. It's an Android attached with a screen. It's just really cool. I have at least two, go two Game Boy Advance SP, PS Vita. I have the original PS Vita. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to put my word out there. I'm with you guys. PlayStation 5, much better choice. Much better than any kind of shiny rock you can wear on your neck or on your ears. Much better than any shoes um, or any of that. Though, I will admit, the Destiny Palladium boots that I recently picked up, they were on sale, almost half off. Those were awesome. Normally, I'm not a big shoe buyer, but... They say Destiny on them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a massive Destiny person. Gotta get them. But in general, I, I don't understand it. I think I have maybe four pairs of shoes total. So, this is my take on it. I choose the video game console any day over anything else. Except the cat, who's sleeping. Um, technically, the video game consoles are hers, because she likes to watch me play, and she lets me use them. If she doesn't want me to play, she makes sure I can't play. She'll sit right in front of the screen and make it impossible for me to play. Anyway, um, that's my take on the whole thing. Uh, I choose my video game consoles. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Um, like, subscribe, look me up. I always include my PlayStation Gamer Tag, my Xbox, Switch, Steam. Switch, I have like five people, so... I don't play Switch as much, but hey, go for it. Um, I also have a Twitch account I don't use very often. Um, anyway, hope to hear from you. Um, have a good one.